Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're filming my favorite video to film. We're going to be doing a collective beauty haul. I'm going to be showing everything from, I got some stuff from Ulta. I also got my Mac gratis, which I'm so excited to show you guys. I also ordered some stuff from Sephora and I was making sure my address wasn't on there. Oh, I even got sent something from Up, and I also wanted to show you guys my new uh, fall candles that I got from Bath and Body Works. So I just been collecting all this stuff and I'm really excited to show you guys everything. So if you want to see this haul, let's go ahead and just jump in. Alrighty guys, so first I'm gonna start off with Sephora just because I didn't order much from here. So what I picked up from Sephora was this eyeshadow palette. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Star eyeshadow palette. I already did a full review over this palette and did swatches on my channel. So if you haven't seen this already, I did upload this before this video. So I will have it in the cards right here if you do wanna see it. Um, but yeah, I did pick that up. And then I also picked up some point perks and like little, like you know how you could enter the code and get little freebies so the first thing that I got was with my points and I got this Victor and Ralph flower bomb perfume I really really love this um, perfume but I'm so disappointed because this was 250 points and I knew it was gonna be small but I thought it was at least gonna have a sprayer and this does not it's just like a little hole and you just like pour it out which oh my gosh it pours so much and I feel like I'm just gonna go through it really quickly and I just wish it had like at least a roller ball or something on it. But I do really love this fragrance, which is why I got it. But I kind of wish that I saved my points now that they do like that gift card thing. I kind of wasn't thinking about that and I just always look through the points. And I did pick that up, but I kind of wish I saved my points. But it is a really good fragrance to have. So I put in a little promo code to get this. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. This is their newer foundation and it's in the color Y3115. And they only had one color to choose from, which was this one. And unfortunately, it is too too dark for me especially right now since I'm getting more pale since it's fall time and so unfortunately I can't use this I'll probably just save it for my sister because she is a little bit darker than me and so I did pick that up and then last but not least I did get some samples so I got the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Concealer, a perfume, and then another Makeup Forever foundation. And so yeah, that was everything that I picked up from Sephora. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to Ulta. Like I said, I did get my MAC gratis. We actually got our welcome kit. So this is what's in this bag. And then I also just picked some stuff up during the week that I wanted to show you guys. So first I'm just gonna show you what I've bought and then I'll go ahead and move on to the MAC gratis. Okay guys, so I got some really exciting things. The first thing that I picked up was the Aurora Lights palette from BH Cosmetics. I've been wanting this since I saw it when it first came out and I really love the colors. Um, it's such a beautiful like colorful palette. So when you open it up, oops, take the plastic out. This is what it looks like and every time I would open this at work and just look at this color palette, it just made me so inspired to do a look with these colors. I really love these greens right here just because I don't have that much greens in my collection and so um, I was thinking about buying it, but then I still feel like 16 or 18, however much it is, is kind of pricey for a drugstore. And so I waited and it didn't end up going on sale. Just because BH Cosmetics palettes usually do go on sale, I feel like every time I've bought one, they've been on sale. And this was on sale for their fall event haul and it was only like 10 bucks. So I definitely had to pick it up. It's so pretty. Let me go ahead and swatch some of the colors for you. So these are some of the colors that come in the palette. They're just so pretty. Um, they don't swatch the best, I guess. Well, they swatch okay. But um, I like to use the BH Cosmetics palettes with Fix Plus, especially these shimmery colors because they are on the more chunky sheer side. But once you use it with like Fix Plus or anything wet, it just really helps intensify them and they're so pretty. And so I'm so glad I picked that up. I feel like it's a really different kind of palette to add to my collection. I did have their other Galaxy palette, but none of the shades in that one is similar to this one. If you're wondering which one I'm talking about, let me grab it. This is the one I was talking about, the Galaxy Chic, and these ones are a lot more dim, and they're just different. And then I do have their Take Me Back to Brazil, which I also bought on sale, so I just love these palettes. 
Okay, so the next thing I picked up, I'm really excited to try out. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation, and I got mine in the color F6, which was described as a light to medium um, color with neutral undertones. And the reason I got this one is because it is lighter than my other foundations, which are I feel like are a little dark on me right now, to be honest. And it does have neutral undertones, and I feel like I want to start trying more neutral undertone foundations just because a lot of the ones I have are really orange or yellow, and I feel like I'm more neutral just because right here on my chest I am a little bit more pink. But on my arms and stuff, I'm more yellow, so I feel like it's kind of a neutral thing. And so I'm excited about this. Hopefully it will match. I am going to be doing a full face of first impressions, and I'm going to be filming that tomorrow using a lot of these products, including this foundation, so I cannot wait to try it. So stay tuned for that. Alrighty, guys, so the next thing I picked up was from Dose of Colors. This is the Desi X Katie Highlighter in the color Fuego. I'm really excited about this. This is not their new color that they came out with, um, but unfortunately, during the first collaboration, I wasn't able to order this highlight, which was a part of the first collection, and so they did re-release it with different packaging, but with the same like new collection that just came out. And so I picked it up and I'm so excited. So this is what it looks like right here. It does have a little plastic overdose of colors, but this is their newer packaging for their second collaboration. It's so pretty and sparkly. The only thing that I don't like about it is that the glitter does come off. So it kind of ends up all over your hands. But like I said, I did get the color Fuego, which is a very light champagne gold. It does look darker in the pan, but hopefully it'll be light enough for me. It does come with a little mirror inside. But this is what the color looks like in the pan, unswatched. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It does feel like it's a more hard-pressed highlighter. It's not too powdery. So this is what it looks like on my finger, and then I'll go ahead and swatch it. That is so pretty. Like I said, hopefully it's going to be light enough for my skin tone, but it just feels so smooth and it looks like it would buff into the skin really nicely. It just looks really wet. Like it has a really awesome texture. Like if you blend it out, you'll be able to see. That's what it looks like after I blended it out. And as you can see, it just looks so wet on the skin and it just like melds into the skin. I'm so excited to try it. I'll probably try this tomorrow with my full face of first impressions. Okay guys, so I did end up becoming diamond member for Ulta during this purchase, which, oh my gosh, I can't believe I spent that much money on Ulta. But it's so crazy because I'm still a VIB Rouge in Sephora and I became a VIB Rouge when when I used to work at Sephora and now I'm a diamond member at Ulta and I work there it's just crazy that just shows you like if you work there you're always gonna be buying stuff but hopefully I won't lose my Sephora VIB Rouge because I still buy from there especially like the more higher-end brands just because Ulta doesn't have like Tom Ford, Natasha Denona, Tatcha, all those really high-end brands. But anyways, so they did give me a gift that comes with being a diamond member. So you get this little card inside that tells you about it. And then you also get this $25 off your next beauty service, which I don't really get beauty services at Ulta. I dye my own hair and I tweeze my own brows and that's pretty much the only things you could do or you could get like a facial and stuff but I just I don't do any of that so I don't know what I'm going to do with that but then it does come with these two Clinique products inside so it did come with this this is the Clinique custom eye repair treatment and it does have a pump I've never tried this before so I'm really interested in trying it it seems like it would be good and then it came with a makeup product as well this is a Clinique high impact mask which I will probably just save for a giveaway because I think I've tried it and it wasn't anything spectacular so yeah um I'll probably just like give it to my family or I don't know but I did get that little welcome kit for being a diamond member and so now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my Mac gratis from Ulta if you don't know I do work at the Mac inside of Ulta and so we got this as a welcome kit 
so we didn't pick out any of this stuff it was just sent to us based on our color and you could either put light medium or dark and I put medium and so I'm gonna show you guys what I got so the first thing that I got was these Mac um, makeup wipes it's just a small pack I've actually never tried these on myself but I use them on clients all the time at work and they work really well at like removing their makeup so hopefully they'll be good on my skin but yeah excited to try those out next up we got the Mac prep and prime fix plus but we got a little mini which I think is kind of ridiculous like we're working for you guys so why send us the minis especially if you want us to really try out the product I have tried this already but I'm just saying like you could have give us the big pack of makeup wipes and the big fix plus but you know we did get the gratis so I shouldn't complain I shouldn't complain don't listen to me Okay, so the next thing we got was this MAC Mineralize Blush in the color Petal Power. I really love the mineralized blushes, so I was really excited when I saw this in there. And it's this really pretty, like, peachy pink color. That is what it looks like. I really love the way these blushes go on the skin. They just look so natural. So that is what the color looks like. I really love that. It's right up my alley. I will definitely get use out of that. Next up, we got an eyeshadow palette. This is the the amber times nine eyeshadow palette so let's go ahead and take a look at this this is so cute it's really good for traveling so these are what the colors look like super pretty it's just an everyday kind of neutral palette I love that it has both matte and shimmers in there because like I said that would be awesome for traveling and so I can't wait to try these out um, it has the colors cozy gray Georgia peach rice paper creative copper cork don't tell aromatic pepper and please so we got that next up i got a mascara this is the mac in extreme dimension 3d black lash mascara this is what the outer packaging looks like let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried this mascara and what your thoughts on it are um, but i'm not going to open this one right now just because i already have a lot of mascaras open so i'm just going to put that back in the box Oh my gosh, I'm really, really freaking excited about this one. Okay, so we got one of the new Powder Kiss lipsticks, which haven't released yet. Um, they are going to be released this month sometime. It's October 1st when I'm filming this. I don't, I'm not sure when it's going to go up. But I got the color 305 Burning Love, which is a beautiful burgundy red shade. So this is what the packaging looks like for the Powder Kiss lipsticks. And if you compare it to a regular MAC lipstick, it does have like a matte soft finish and I really love the way it feels it kind of feels like NARS packaging and this is the color that I got and as you could see just from the lipstick you could tell that it has more of a like a matte powdery look it's so beautiful I cannot wait to try this I'm not gonna swatch it unfortunately for you guys just because I do want to take a picture so make sure you follow me on my Instagram um, but I will be trying it in tomorrow's video so you will see it in action very soon okay so the next thing we have here is this MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extended eye base and so this is an eyeshadow primer and it comes in a black tube I believe yeah this is what it looks like I've actually never tried this before so I'm really excited to try it and see if it changes the way my eyeshadow wears I don't usually wear an eyeshadow primer these days just because I'm very lazy and I feel like concealer kind of does the same thing so I always just put concealer up there and call it a day and just use that as my eyeshadow primer but I'm glad we got this just to see how it works the next thing that we got is this MAC Pro Longwear fluid eyeliner gel and we got the color low lights and I keep saying we but I got the color we all got different colors um, I know that um, one of my co-workers she put the color deep in her description because like I said it asked you light medium or deep and she got the black eyeliner and I got the dark brown just because like I said I put medium skin tone and so this is what the color looks like that I got and it's just a really pretty dark brown I'm really excited to try this out just because I don't have that many dark brown eyeliners next up we did get some lip colors so we got this MAC Pro Longwear lip pencil and I got the color stringently stringently stylish I believe that's how you say it and it looks like it's a really pretty warm nude color and so I'll go ahead and swatch 
swatch it so you guys could see the color. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to get some use out of this. It's a really pretty color. It kind of reminds me of Spice from MAC, but this is the Pro Longwear kind, and I actually don't own any of these. I just own the regular lip pencils, and so I'm really excited to try this formula out, but that is what the lip pencil looks like right there. Okay, so next up, I got the Patent Polish Lip Pencil, and it looks like it's a chubby crown, and it's in the color Clever, which looks like it kind of matches that lip liner. So this is what the packaging of that one looks like. And I've never tried these chubbier lip pencils, so I'm really excited to try them out. Oh, it seems like it's more of a hydrating formula, kind of like the Clinique Chubby Sticks. That's what it's reminding me of and it does have some shine so that is the swatch right under the lip liner the lip liner is a little bit darker okay last but not least we did get this mac plenty of pout plumping lip gloss and this is another new product that they just came out with and we got this really pretty nudie pink color it's like a baby pink shade and i haven't tried this yet so I'm not sure about the plumping qualities, but we'll go ahead and swatch it. It has a weird applicator. Do you guys see the applicator? It's like this weird teardrop shape. Hmm, interesting. So it comes off more clear on my hand, so you're not gonna really see much, but there it is right there. Like I said, I haven't tried this yet, but my coworker did say that it burned her lips a lot, so... Uh, kind of scared but I'll definitely give it a try okay so that was everything that I got from work from Ulta and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this makeup case that I actually got sent to me from a Amazon company but basically they asked me if I would like to try their makeup bag and I said yes and this video is not sponsored or anything um they just said if I did end up liking it to please share it in a video I don't have to but I want to because I did end up really liking it so this is what it looks like it came in this little ziploc bag so they did send me a little thank you card which is so cute um, but I just love the way that they package this so you can buy this on Amazon and basically get it in two days if you have Amazon Prime um, if you're traveling anywhere it will definitely come in handy but it is so cute so it's very small and petite but it does have like a hard case so nothing squishes your makeup in there and um, it has really pretty rose gold details it says case up Miami on it as you guys can see super cute so it opens up like this and this is meant for travel so it actually folds all the way out and then it comes with this little hanger that you could hang your makeup case in your little hotel room which is so cute and then just do your makeup wherever you want to do it and it does come with a whole bunch of compartments which is why I loved it so much because it has a compartment right here that you could put stuff in and it has that little print in the inside that's rose gold and then right here it has a little spot for your brushes to keep them protected oh, I already got makeup on it great <laughs> and then it has this um, little print right there as well and then another little pocket up here. So I'm actually going to put some makeup in here and see how much it could hold. All right, guys. So I put some makeup in here just to show you kind of a little example. So I have my BH Cosmetics palette right here in this pocket. I have some brushes in here. And then you open this up. I have my little Fix Plus in there. A foundation. And then up here I put a little face highlighting palette. I didn't fill it up completely just because... I don't want to go through all that trouble to show you guys, but I just kind of wanted to give you a little example of how it works. I really, really love it, and I'm so glad that they sent it to me. Um, but yeah, I will have it linked down below if you're interested. Okay, guys, last but not least, I did want to show you guys some new candles that I picked up from Bath & Body Works. So I've really been loving the fall scents, especially now that it's already fall. And um, I've been burning this one like crazy. This one's flannel and it smells so good. It says I love fall on it. So cute. And it has like a little flannel on it. But this one smells so good. It smells so manly. This is one that I've been loving. And so I actually didn't pick out these ones that I'm going to show you guys. Christian actually did it. And um, he's like, I have a surprise for you when you get off work. And then he just pulled this out and is like, I bought you candles. And to me, that's so sweet because I, I always ask him for candles because I love going to Bath and Body Works and buying candles. And he actually picked out some really good scents. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what he got. So he picked up this one, which oh, smells so good. 
It smells like greenery, but mixed with fall. Like it smells exactly like what's on this picture right here. Like the outdoors and a cabin. It came with this kind of lid on it and it just smells so good. It smells just so fall and so nice, but it's still different than the flannel scent. So if you want to change it up, you get tired of that one, you could like that one. And then the last one that he got me was Marshmallow Fireside. And I know for sure he got me this one because I always ask him for it. And he's like, no, let's get something else. And so now I know like he got this just for me because I always ask for the scent because I love it so much. If you haven't smelled this, it just smells so good. It smells sweet, but not too sweet because I hate very sugary candle scents. But it literally smells like melted marshmallow mixed with like fall scent with... It's like marshmallows mixed with both of these. That's what Marshmallow Fireside smells like. It just smells so good. It's one of my favorite scents and I will burn this all the way until Christmas time because it just goes with the whole seasons. And that is what the packaging of this one looks like and it has the same lid. And so yeah, that is everything that I picked up for this huge collective haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I can know to keep doing hauls for you guys and collecting everything that I buy so I could show you in a big haul. I'm so excited about all this stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a full face of first impressions tomorrow using a lot of this makeup. So if you wanna see that video, make sure to stay tuned tuned to my channel. Also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe before you leave. I do make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so that's three times a week, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!